Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you some basic concepts of modeling. So uh, when you're finished with this tutorial, you'll end up with uh, this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get new so I can show you. And uh, we're not going to use this cube, so let's uh, hit X and delete. Now you want to hit Shift A and add a cylinder. Shift A is the add menu and it's pretty handy. So now hit 7. Look at the top perspective of your cylinder and uh, hit tab so you can uh, get it in edit mode. Now once you're in tab click A and click B that's your box tool and just box this whole top front up and now what you want to do is hit X and you want to delete the faces. Now you're left with a hollow cylinder and uh, you can do many things with it but uh, I'm going to show you how to model a trash can. So what we're going to do is we're going to box up these top vertices again and um, let's get the top perspective shift a little bit there we go so now we want to hit E for extrude and as you can see if you play around with that and but we're gonna hit S after E just like that now we can extrude inwards and that's what we want we want to get a nice lip so uh, just like that it's perfect so now what we're gonna do is shift to a perspective where you can see bottom and the top and hit Z. Just like that you can see all the vertices which is handy for what we're gonna do now. You wanna hit E for extrude and Z so that you can only extrude along this Z axis. So now you wanna extrude close to the bottom and this is helpful so you know you're not overextending yourself. Uh, that's just right about there. And uh, you wanna hit Z to get out of wire mode. With your vertices still selected, you want to hit E again and S, and you just want to close the inside up, just like that. Be careful not to overlap. Alright, so uh, that's, that's this is what it would look like if it's overlapping. So let's close that, just like that. And with the box tool, B, select these bottom vertices and hit S. Just want to close that up a little bit, just like that. So now let's hit Control. 7 and that will take us to the bottom perspective instead of the top because I hit control so let's hit A to deselect anything that we might have selected and let's box up the top again just like that so now you want to get a perspective just about this and you want to hit S for scroll you want to uh, taper it until you reach until you see the insides showing so then you want to just as close as you can get just like that so now if we hit one to get a front perspective you can see it's nicely tapered just like that and that's uh, what gives it its uh, definition its shape so um, now what we you can do you can uh, add a, another lip so let's do that so I'm gonna hit A to deselect and let's just scroll in shift well, if you hit shift and the uh, click down on the mouse the scroll button you can move it just like that instead of changing perspectives so now what we want to do is you want to just box up these inside vertices being careful not to accidentally get any uh, outside vertices just like that Let's do the same on this side B for box and just box up all the vertices Let's see. So now we have the straight vertice left out. The way you can select that one is hitting shift and right clicking on it. Now you have all your vertices selected. We want to extrude and hit Z so we can extrude up. So E then Z uh, about that much. And now what we want to do is we want to hit S for scroll. But see, see, we don't want to, we want, we don't want to scroll it out too much, just, just enough to look nice and modern. And now, after we, you scroll it out, you want to hit um, extrude again, E and Z, and just take that down, just, just like that. So now, if we exit out of edit mode by hitting Tab, you can see what your final result is, and. Um, if you want to color that, uh, you can over here on this tab, just opening it up, right here under materials, click new, 
and right here making sure that your object is selected you can click right there and that is where you can select what color you want it to be and uh, I like that color so let's have that and if it do you think it looks too choppy you can just hit smooth on this side under the toolbar and now it looks very nice so if we render this hitting F12 this is what it would look like you can add more lighting in there and make it better uh, but that's the basic concept so if you have any questions please comment or any tips you like to share with us please comment thank you